All right, guys, check it out right here. A couple of new reels, unreleased reels from 13 Fishing. Y'all have seen me fish with these for a little while now. And if y'all have been paying very close attention, you've actually seen me fish with them all year long because I've had a couple prototypes in these. So this is the purple reel, obviously, as you can tell by the accent color on the box. This is the purple reel I've been using with the polyurethane handles. Y'all have seen it in some of my videos. And then this is the Inception slide. This is the upgraded Inception. Got a couple cool new features that the Inception has never had before. And actually a reel at this price point has probably never had before. So really cool couple new things. I've had the luxury of fishing with them all year, but I got some of the final products in about two months ago. I've been fishing with them for a while. So Hunter has taken a liking to this reel. Obviously it's purple, so she's gonna like it. But she did something kind of cool that I wish I'd do when I first started fishing to get her a little bit more dialed in and ready out there on the water. So a couple cool new reels and Hunter really likes this purple. But before we start talking about these reels, we do need to tell y'all that this video is sponsored by Shop Carls and they are launching a holiday campaign that will start November 1st for all members and non-members. They will get exclusive access to new baits, new colors, free shipping, and also to 20% off all $200 or more orders. But if you're a member, you can get early access to the deals and it will start October 25th, which will have $1 and $5 baits going all season. And what else? And so every week there'll be $1 and $5 baits for everybody. If you get a free trial or if you're a Carl's Club member, and then 20% off orders of 200 or more. There's bundles on a lot of different stuff, big tackle bundles and all that type free of stuff. Gifts. Free gifts. If you order, you know, orders and then also early access like she said you get to go a week early and see all the new deals all the one dollar five dollar base before they sell out if you're a cars club member you get to go in on october 25th so let's so, jump into the reels. that is good because it's coming up on the holiday season and yep. if you like fishing or if you have fishing people in your family that you're gonna have to buy christmas gifts for you can stock up now yep you can get you can get everything dialed in already and for the fall bite a little bit too which is kind of tough where i'm at but the fall bite can be really good if you're a grinder and you like to you know chase bait around and run a gun so it can be kind of fun but hunter wants to start off she already got her rod she kind of placed this order at icast this year and said hey give me one of these and give it to me now because i really like it so so what is special about mine in particular <clears throat> is that it's left-handed and if you are a co-angler or if you fish behind somebody that is extremely fast fisherman flipping with your left hand is extremely efficient yep helps you a lot in my opinion. you never have to take your hand off the reel i Wish I did that when I first started fishing. It's really cool to be able to flip with your right hand and then reel with your left hand while you're fishing. But I didn't do that. So now I actually flip with my left hand and then just reel around. So I never take my hand off my reel either. I just flip with my left hand a lot of times, unless I'm trying to flip extremely far or extremely accurately. Sometimes I'll change back and flip my right hand. You just have to switch hands. So really cool she did that. If you learn how to fish that way, it'll make you a little bit more efficient. So tell me some of the things, Hunter, that you really like about this reel. What is it? Okay. I really like the handles. Polyurethane. We're going to talk yes. about it. Thing by, you know, everything that goes into it. This is polyurethane handle. Those have been in skateboards, rollerblades, all those types of wheels for a long time. And the real designer at 13 said, hey, this would be a really cool handle. Got some samples in. Really like the way it felt. And I fished with them for a while, and I really like the way they feel, too. They don't get slick in the water. In, in like, rain, which is kind of one of the things I was worried about. Early in the morning, you got dew. You got moisture all over the boat all the time. I was kind of worried about these handles, and they just don't get slick. So, really also, impressed by that purple that's a if that's number two she likes the handles because they're clear and purple and then she likes the reel because it's purple so third thing is going to be what the the worm gear nut is purple yeah what is it just and the purple what, accent what is this that's a spool yeah it's purple all purple all bling bling what kind of rod do you got that on uh 13 fishing envy seven three medium heavy yeah Three eight ounce weight to flip with straight mm -hmm. shank damakatsu hook that's what hunter likes doing she likes to flip if y'all don't know that by now hunter is the Flipping queen. If we're not flipping, I ain't going. Yeah. She asked me in the morning, I'd be like, Hunter, you gonna go to Trump me tomorrow? She'll what are we gonna do? I'd be like, flip it. She'd be like, Yeah, I'll go. But and, I, and then <laughs> he just he says that and lies. And then we'll go like fish brush piles or something. Yeah, so she uh she likes to flip though. She likes flipping visual cover, bushes, trees, laydowns, all that type of stuff. And it's a really good reason for it. She really likes to I mean it's a fun way to catch them. And she likes fishing the visual cover. So have you noticed anything about casting this reel? Is it easy to cast? Mm -hmm. Seems good. Mm -hmm. So this reel has, and I'll show you. I'm using it also for flipping, skipping. And what gear ratio does this come in? Seven, three to one. Okay. Yep. So I've been using this also for flipping, pitching, skipping a jig. See, I got an ace jig on right now. I actually have it on a seven foot six, medium heavy Envy rod. Kind of been flipping around a lot with this recently, flipping in, you know, our lakes are coming down right now. We have been, you know, there's less cover in the water than normal, less heavy cover in the water than normal. So I've been flipping a jig around a ton because it penetrates really good whenever that water starts to fall. And you still catch some really, really big. It's called a five pound on that exact jig about a week ago in a, in a tournament. But 
that reel comes with CZB spool bearings. What that means is both the bearings that support the spool are CZB, and those are a composite bearing that 13 came out with a few years ago, and they redesigned it a few times, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I was skeptical at first. You know, I was talking to the real designer at 13. He knew I was skeptical at first. He said, just try it. I tried it, and I really, really like it. So one drawback to the CZB bearings, if you take your reel with no line on it and you click the button and you try to spin the spool, it's not going to free spin the way that a traditional bearing would free spin. But it takes less momentum than a bearing to get this this uh, CZB bearing. It takes less momentum than a real bearing to actually get it spinning. So it spins smoother coming off at the beginning of the cast, all the way through the cast. It, it actually casts smoother and more quietly than a regular bearing does. Like I was blown away by it at first, but I really like it. I've been using it for all my skipping stuff. Ever since I got them, I've been throwing a frog on it. I've been skipping a jig on it, all that type of stuff. And I've actually took some of the CZB bearings and put them in some of my other 13 fishing reels and been using those for skipping also. But really cool, there's never been a reel at this price point that has had the CZB bearings in it. And I mean, if you try it, you'll really, really like it, but don't get turned off in the store when you pick it up and you spin the spool and it doesn't spin quite as freely as some of the other reels that you're used to. So really cool. This is the Modus. It's gonna come in kind of just below the inception price point. There's gonna be a purple and there's gonna be a silver one. It's more of a traditional style Modus, but this purple one right here is gonna turn a lot of heads and people are gonna really like it. I mean, it looks good, but if you have never used a CZB bearing, you really need to try it. Like, I was blown away by it. I tell people, come throw this thing. Like, if, it's, if you see me around, pick it up, just make a cast with it and feel how it feels. So, I was skeptical, but not anymore. Really, really like it. So, just a really well-built reel with a new opportunity to use a CZB. So, Hunter handed me an Inception slide. Got a rock crawler on it. This one I've been fishing with for over a year now. This is a prototype. This is not one of the production ones. This is one that you will never see because a couple changes were made to it, but not really many. I was blown away by the first time I got this. It's been my cranking reel for a long time. And the reason for that is, when do you crank? Cold, windy, it's a little bit smaller baits, lighter line, all the type of things that where you need your reel to be really fine-tuned and dialed in. And that's where that little dude right there comes in. So what is a slide? Basically, you open up the side plate on this reel. There are six different settings on the side of the actual spool one through six or zero through six maybe that means there's seven settings if it's zero through six that's seven ain't it mm -hmm. yep so maybe there's seven settings yep there is seven settings so on the inside of this spool right here you can see there's seven different settings that you can set it to and what that's going to do is every time you put it if you put it on six it's going to be a it's going to have less of a free spool and if you put it on zero it's going to have a very very free spool so it kind of just lets you dictate exactly how much pressure you want on your spool and how you want the, the reel to cast well, the slide gives you an able, uh, ability to fine tune it. So you take this slide from zero to all the way, uh, from negative all the way to plus. What that does is it actually adds one setting to it. So if you want to go to five and a half instead of six, like you would have to go from five to six. Now you can take this dial and adjust it right in the middle and add, you know, half of a click of tension to it. So it actually makes it where you can fine tune it. So from all the way from positive to all the way negative is just like adjusting it one spot on the inside of the spool so really makes it where you can fine tune it and i've been using it a lot for wind all that type of stuff if you you know if it's slick calm the wind's at your back i'll turn this all the way down try to cast it a long ways if the wind's blowing right in your face then i'll turn it up can't cast quite as far but obviously i'm gonna have less backlash stuff in the wind and whenever you're cranking with light line less back less bass backlashes is obviously always going to be better so really cool new thing also upgraded everything internally here just made that inception kind of revamped it beefed it up a little bit better bearings better gears all that type of stuff inside it but it's still going to look the same still kind of going to kind of be the same got the same handle same knobs all that stuff of the inception everybody already loves just kind of upgraded it all the internals and then also made that slide so gerald swindle has a reel coming out it's going to be the inception two meta reel and this is his is not going to come in eight to one but this reel will come in eight to one so you'll see me fish with this reel a ton next year because I like to throw a lot of eight to ones on everything that I use. So this is going to be my high speed gear ratio reel that I use next year. That and the Modus, probably the two reels that I use the most, the purple one. But the cool thing about this, like I said, that slide feature, one of the main things that comes new in this reel. Hand me that other one down there. I'll show y'all. I've been talking about the prototype for this long. We better pick up the actual. This is the actual one that I've been using. So this is the Inception slide, new and improved. I mean, I've, I have beat it up already. I've had it for a while. And I, I mean, I'm telling you, I have put these things through the ringer. That, that's what I do. But this is 
the production model, I've been throwing a buzz bait on it. I've been skipping this buzz bait a lot under dock. So I really like to have that slide feature. So I can adjust it kind of on the fly. So really like this thing. Big fan of this thing. Been using it a ton, caught a lot of big fish on it. And that's the that's what it's gonna look like coming out. A little bit different finish than that last one I just had because that last one was prototype. Probably wasn't even supposed to show y'all that, but hopefully y'all won't tell on me. But that's the new 13 fishing unreleased reels that I'll be using next year. Cool stuff coming out. Those will be available in 2023. I have something to show them. Okay. Look at this. Is that a sneak peek? Is that you don't is that a sneak peek of my next year's boat or is that a last peek of last year's boat? Last peek move. I was trying to build some hype. It's no hype. beautiful, ain't it? Ain't it pretty? Mm -hmm. Love that Clean. boat. Cleaned up, got the wrap off, everything's all pretty. Going to a new home very, very soon. So some lucky gentleman gonna be running that. That thing has caught some bass this year. Awesome, appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully y'all like that video, kind of breaking down the new reels. Those are two brand new reels, kind of the two main features. If you want to get more boring, kind of internals and stuff like that, There'll be some more videos coming soon that kind of dive down a little bit deeper into what makes those reels, what kind of everything that was upgraded on those reels. But I just kind of want to go over the two main points that makes those reels kind of special and set apart from the crowd. So appreciate it, guys. Thank you for watching. And if you ain't subscribed, why not? Thank you.